Hello, and welcome to a different type of video. We are actually in what was formerly where I lived. I have recently moved out, so I thought I would give you a tour of what maybe a typical one-room apartment would be in the Seoul area. And this is specifically near Hongdae. Uh, I'll not say exactly which neighborhood. Uh, in Hongdae, uh, but, or which area rather, but I thought I'd go over what you might typically expect. Uh, there's a couple things still lying around here and there, but for the most part, the whole apartment is empty. When I first got here, there was no bed, um, but I asked the landlord to put a bed here because I wasn't used to sleeping on the floor. Um, actually, now I could go either way, but this is just a single bed and uh, the mattress was new when I moved in. I'm sure the landlord will replace the mattress when I leave or may get rid of the bed entirely. I'm not sure, but the bed isn't mine. Um, in terms of size, it is. it looks kind of big. I'm using a wide-angle lens, but it, in reality it's, it's pretty tiny, as you'll find with most one rooms. But let's start with the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom's just off to the left as you enter. You can see there is just the toilet and the medicine cabinet there with the mirror and sink. Uh, it is a wet bathroom, meaning if you take a shower, you're going to get everything wet. Uh, the floor is separated from the rest of the living area, so you have a lip to catch uh, your water here. Towel rack. I still have some cleaning supplies there. But yeah, in general, this is what your bathroom is going to look like in almost any Korean studio, one-room apartment. There's your shower attachment. Uh, interestingly, it does have two power outlets, power outlets, one down there and one right there, which is great. So that's the bathroom. Then is the kitchen area. I like this kitchen area and I also um, didn't like the kitchen area. I didn't like there was only one burner. Uh, later I got another induction top to use, which I could either put next to this or, you know, use else <clears throat> elsewhere, but only one burner that came in the kitchen here, and it's a hybrid cooktop. Uh, it's actually not induction, even though it kind of looks like induction. And there's a washing machine, again, typical to have your washing machine in the kitchen area. Uh, one thing I did like is that the counter is actually kind of big for a Korean one room. Normally you may only get like one section of cabinets that is your counter space or you may get absolutely no counter space. Your burner might actually be next to your sink. And also I like that there's a lot of storage. You can see there's like three cabinets there and three up there. This actually isn't a cabinet, it's just where the, the range is, the range hood that is. Uh, I like that it had a, a drying rack already for dishes. Uh, I didn't like that the sink was tiny. Um, it's like very tiny compared to maybe a, an American kitchen, uh, but I learned to deal with it. Um, I didn't like that the fridge was fairly tiny and that there was no light inside. So like that's all the light you get. And as you can see, it, it's pretty dark. Um, so it can be difficult to find things. Same thing with the freezer. Tiny and dark, but what can you do? Uh, microwave worked great. Uh, again, not terribly big, but you know, it was only me for the most part using it. I never had to like worry about microwaving huge dishes for parties or anything like that. Uh, one unique feature is the veranda area, which you can kind of see through behind this shelf over the refrigerator. So I guess we'll just go to that area. It's actually not sealed off from the rest of the apartment. Like there's this huge uh, storage cabinet, which was great to have. Um, however, it's still, you can, you can actually see through to the kitchen there. So if you're like using air conditioning or heating, you're gonna lose some through this area. Uh, but the veranda was a great storage area. Um, I appreciated having it. And you can see all these windows here. Also nice. And it's like fake 
sealed off. You can see like at the top they did, they tried to make it look like it was sealed off, but it definitely is not. Uh, we already talked about the bed, but um, this is like the living and bed area. You can see another big window. Uh, there's a shade here and then curtains over the big sliding doors here. There was no curtain or shade over here and I never put one up. Um, but normally it wasn't in view of my, me when I was over at the desk or, you know, sleeping, so it wasn't that big a deal. Here's the shoe closet. Again, quite big. And then we have your security phone and your hot water heater. Uh, there's hot water and then here's the the underfloor heating. You can set the temperature, set the level of hot water, put it if you're out, you know, if you're out, you can t turn on the seat setting here and then it'll kind of hold the heat for you or you could of course uh, reserve it to turn on uh, a different time. Really tiny entry area, uh, an electronic lock, which is pretty standard, I would say, and then fairly large Closed cabinet, closed closet that is. Um, yeah, great size for a one room, really. That's another thing I really liked. Uh, the chair is mine, taking that with me, uh, but there was a chair here originally. And then again, a lot of like storage, which is really appreciated, which I really appreciated. Uh, air conditioning unit, again, uh, I guess they're more common now, but they used to be not so common. So that also is appreciated in this hot summer environment. Uh, the TV and the router were included, the internet service, so I didn't have to like sign up for that or anything. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and then the remote for the air conditioner. Uh, you may see some, you know, things like combat and such. Um, not that I didn't really have any problems with pests except for mosquitoes during the summer. Um, that was more just for insurance against in case there, you know, were pests, but there really weren't. Um, but I think mosquitoes are really just a problem anywhere you go in Korea during the summer. Uh, out there is just a window to a deck area for the landlord, and those windows face another building, so nothing to look at there. Uh, but other than that, this was a great location to live in. Again, it's near Hongdae, um, really close to the subway really close to places to eat, places to have fun, places to walk and walk around and parks and such. So I, en I enjoyed living here, but, uh, you know, time for a change. So we'll say goodbye to this place and maybe next time I can show you the place I'm, I've moved to once I move out of there. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. We'll see you next time.